Hi, it's Dami Oluwatu with the King Razor, and today I want to ask you a very simple question, but it's so important. That question is this Are you really growing? Now, I'm not talking about whether you're increasing in size in terms of what you weigh, and I'm not talking about whether your hair grows. I mean, those things happen without much of your active participation, but I'm really asking when it comes to your mental aspects your emotional dimension are you really growing in those areas you know what happens to many of us is that once we graduate from school and we have that certificate <laughs> then we stop reading stop studying stop investing in ourselves so sometimes we read for a professional exam or because we're trusting to get a promotion at work or because we're hoping to impress people but we have not necessarily developed the culture and the discipline of investing copiously in ourselves and growing. But what I want to realize is this, that your rewards in life are oftentimes connected to your growth in life. What it means is, anytime you're trying to attain rewards or to receive rewards beyond the level of your growth, you're likely going to be crushed by those rewards or you will struggle to maximize the benefits of those rewards. So let's use the analogy of a child, a human being. Generally, you're gonna start out being a fetus, an embryo in the belly of your mother, and after a while, hopefully nine months, you come out of your mother's womb, and then people are gonna come and celebrate your naming ceremony and all the rites and all the excitement and all of that. Then you go through nursery school, primary school, secondary school, maybe some school of higher learning or some school acquisition, uh, educational se uh, sector, then you begin to work and deliver value. Now, as long as that child is a fetus or embryo, there are certain things it's never going to be rewarded by. You're not going to buy him a laptop or some kind of gadget. You're not going to buy him binoculars or some virtual, <laughs> virtual reality glasses. You're possibly just going to say, well, the mother is taking care of the baby. When the baby is born, then you're going to give him some money or maybe shawls, socks, a bonnet, you know, all those things that babies use. But as the baby begins to demonstrate new levels of awareness and consciousness through life, then you will begin to resource the baby with opportunities, or the child now, with opportunities for education, access into new circles and spaces. His gifts or her gifts and competences are beginning to come to the fore. People are beginning to enjoy the value of his ability to sing, her ability to write, the ability to coordinate. And value is being exchanged for the value that this human being brings. Now, whenever you are not growing, you are stuck at the same level of rewards and returns. And rewards are in levels. There is a level where people reward you with just likes and shares on social media. That's all they're going to give you. They will not give you their money. They will not give you access. They will not give you referrals. They will not give you open doors. They will not give you suggestions or feedback. Because based on their perception of your level of growth, you are not ready for those levels of wealth or exposure. So if you're going to attract fresh rewards, if you're going to have open doors to access more people, to reach out to more communities and clusters of influencers and leaders, then you must grow intentionally. You know, people say things like, well, I can drop out of school. You might drop out of an academic institution, but never drop out of the school of life because the greatest innovators, cultivators, activators, job creators are people who keep on learning. So people say Bill Gates dropped out of school, but you realize that according to his own account, he spent about 14 to 18 hours studying every day, even after he dropped out of school. The founders of Google, they were reputed to have, to have been working for between 12 and 16 hours every day for the first two to three years. Now, if you study the lives of Elon Musk, uh, Mark Zuckerberg, Warren Buffet, and all those great people who have done mighty things in the market space and technology and communication and media, you will see that they have rigorous cycles and routines of investing in themselves. So are you growing? Are you growing in your skills, in your capacity, or are you crying out for clients who are three levels above your current level of growth? Are you praying for clients who have experienced more, done more, and know that you can never serve them because their perception of your level of growth is impeded and inhibited? This is a call to action for you that you begin to invest heavily in yourself. 
And what are those areas in which you need to invest? You need to invest in your mind. You need to invest in not only the volume of the thoughts you observe, but the quality of the thoughts you entertain. Because not just about the number of things you know, but how relevant are those things? Are they cutting edge or obsolete? Are they postmodern or are they anti in antiquity? You want to be in the now. And that's why Global Greatness exists to be able to facilitate dimensions of growth for you by connecting you to some of the finest trainers, leaders, mentors, innovators, and also business persons, ministry leaders who will be able to incubate ideas, rub minds with you, galvanize your resources, activate your true potential such that even if you didn't want to grow by being a part of Global Greatness, you begin to grow. I want to be a part of it. The information is on the screen right now. I am eager to hold you by the hand, partner with you, connect with you, and resource you with cutting edge insights, wisdom, and skills and opportunities so that you begin to grow progressively for the rest of your life. Looking forward to having you enjoy Global Greatness.